guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you a few different DIYs for Valentine's Day. I usually don't do a lot of decorating for Valentine's Day just because I don't like a lot of the flashy decor that they have out in stores. So I went ahead and made a few of my own so that it would go with the rest of the decorations that I have in my house. If you guys wanna see how I made them, then just keep watching. For the first project, I'm going to be making a Valentine's wreath, and I'm going to be using a grapevine heart-shaped wreath, fake flowers, ribbon, and a wire cutter or pliers to make this. I'm starting out by cutting off the flowers from their stems and I'm leaving enough of stems so that if I need to, I can wrap it around the grapevine wreath. taking my cut flowers and I'm placing them in between the grape vines and wrapping the stems around any little vine that I can just so that the flowers are held securely. Sometimes it can be difficult to get your stems in between the grapevines, but you know that your flowers are going to be held securely that way. I'm going to be adding these little pink flowers to my wreath for a little pop of color. I really like how these two colors look together. Of course, you can use any flowers or colors that you want if you're going to be making this wreath. I decided to add some of the green leaves from the flower bundles that I had just to add some greenery to my wreath. I'm going to be taking those and just weaving it in between the grapevine just like I did the other flowers. To finish this wreath, I'm going to be using this really pretty ribbon that I found at Dollar Tree and I'm just going to be putting it in between some of the vines at the top of the wreath so that I can hang it. And any of these items that I'm using in today's video, you can find at any local craft store or Dollar Tree, Walmart, stores like that have really great deals on all of these items. For 
For DIY number two, you're going to need a hot glue gun, some jute or ribbon, burlap or paper hearts, some sticks, a vase of some sort, and scissors. For this DIY, I'm going to be making heart ornaments for my stick tree, and I'm going to be taking the jute and I'm just cutting it to the length that I want for my ornament hook. To make my heart ornaments, I'm going to be taking these burlap hearts and the jute that I just cut and I'm going to be using my hot glue gun to place some glue down and then placing the jute on top of the glue so that it can secure my little hook that I made and then I'm going to be placing another heart on top of the other heart so that they are glued together and it makes my complete ornament. placing my sticks in my vase but I ended up going with a different vase because I didn't like the way that these sticks were placed in this little vase that I had. I just wanted something a little bit smaller at the top so I ended up going with another one that I had. I'm simply placing my heart ornaments onto the sticks and I'm double looping my jute hooks so that they can secure onto the branches a little bit better. I decided to add my cotton stems just to give this a little bit more of a farmhouse vibe. To DIY number three, I'm going to be using a vase, ribbon, scissors, a paintbrush, and some chalk paint for this. I'm adding a touch of Valentine's Day to this glass vase, and I'm using my ivory chalk paint to paint on small little hearts all over the vase. Of course, you can use any color that you want. If you wanted to do red or pink for a pop of color, that would look really pretty too. hearts I'm not going by any kind of pattern and for the paint I only did one coat because I like how it gives it more of a rustic vibe that way and I really like how it turned out. Now I'm going to be tying around this crocheted ribbon that I used in my other DIYs and then I'm going to be adding a candle to this face and you can definitely do flowers but I really wanted to do a candle and it looks really pretty.
enjoyed watching me create these DIYs for Valentine's Day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please don't forget to subscribe before leaving. Thank you so much for watching.